So we're just going to start by uh, putting a, a fresh bait onto a baiting needle and then putting that onto our hair, what we've got ready tied. Once that's on his hair, we just uh, top that off with a, a boiler stop or an extender stop if your uh, if your hair's a, a touch too short. So we're just going to pop a small scoop of uh, bag mix into the bottom before we put this full bait in. Uh, I'll just clear a corner of the bag and then from that I'm going to place the hook bait and the hook uh, into the, the corner of the bag best we can. So once we've got this hook baiting corner of the bag we're happy with it, we'll just put another small scoop of bag mix over the top to cover hook bait and hook. Right, once you're happy that your hook bait is in place, uh, we're just going to fill that bag with uh, micro pellets prefer micro pellets to your, your large pellets, your, your four, six and eight mils. You get a much tighter bag using micro pellets than you do your larger ones. So just fill your bag until you've covered your lead, uh, just leaving your uh, bag stem showing. So once you're happy that you've got your, your right amount in, just pinch your stem and your bag and just give it a, a twist, make sure it's nice and tight. I like to just give me the bag a few basins with a, a baiting needle or a, a splicing needle. Just uh, helps get air out of the bag when you're making it and helps it dissolve better and stay on lake bed rather than floating up to the top. So some people like to just lick and stick it as they're tying it up. I prefer to give it a twist and then just use some PVA tape around the top, just uh, two or three times around the top, and then just a couple of overhand knots just to tie that in place. And there you have it, a couple of nice solid PVA bags ready to use.